many Republicans, honest Republicans, Republicans that most of us disagree with, they are finally seeing the light, more than seeing the light. They are outspoken about it with the expectation that others will listen. I want you to listen to Miles here. Good Republican. Listen to what he has to say, then we'll take it on the other side. So something that you keep saying, uh, the Republican Party has become, uh, and I'm saying the Republican Party has always been. You know, we can totally parse Ronald Reagan's record on these things. And, you know, yeah, he made that comment, but he also, his policies were incredibly damaging, incredibly damaging to black people and other people of color in this country. So I, I want to dr drill in, hone in on that because I, I do think that's part of the problem, right? Like there are these ideological differences and everyone wants to say, oh, Trump turned the party this way. The party Party has always been this way. So again, I'm curious from you, Miles, knowing that these things exist, uh, you know, you're you're somebody who uh, wanted to be able to say to your kids, you donated to the first black president, you contributed to, to Barack Obama. The principles that you echo, I, I do still think run contrary to um, the support and, and health and, and benefit of people of color in this country. How do you reconcile those two things? Well, look, I'd say the Republican Party was born as the party of Lincoln, right, that, lead, that freed slaves around this country. And, of course, there's been periods where the party's become uh, one that's, that's xenophobic. And I think we're seeing that period again. I mean, you and I, Tiffany, would disagree on the history of the Republican Party. I'd say the reason that Ronald Reagan was elected in a historic landslide is that people saw that his efforts to cut regulation and empower the people were actually benefit, benefiting people all across the country. But I think the important thing now, Tiffany, is not the civil and constructive dialogue you and I are able to have about disagreements between Democrats, traditional Democrats and traditional Republicans. It's we're now fighting about absolutely fundamental uh, aspects of our country, commitment to democracy, rule of law, the Constitution. Those are things that Republicans stand against now, and that's what's terrifying. So you and I should continue to debate whether traditional Republican or traditional Democratic policies are better for America. But far more important debate right now is at least one of those parties, the Republican Party, no longer agrees in the middle ground about foundational unifying things that should bring this country together. Terrifying. And I would end with saying right now, the biggest anti-democratic force in this country and the biggest danger to our republic is actually the Republican Party of today itself. That's why it needs to be reformed. And that's one place where I think Democrats and rational, principled Republicans on the center right can come together and say, we've got to save our country from this. We've got to rebuild the political center. And we need a common sense coalition once again in the United States. Like I've said several times, the Republican Party has become a clear and present danger to the United States. The fact that they cannot really all condemn an insurrection, the fact that they cannot really tell the truth about anything anymore, the fact that they are unwilling to have a true discussion on real issues. In other words, we are talking about what type of policies we want to make the lives better of the middle class and the poor. They're speaking about cancel culture. They're talking about books and, and, and catalogs and, and issues that really have nothing in common with what the average person needs. So here, here's the thing. Uh, when a party reaches this stage, two things can happen. We can go down into turmoil if People don't take a stand, and good for Miles that he's taking a stand on, on the party, or it becomes a completely defunct party, in which case we have a one-party system, and that isn't good for America either. We need to have a discussion of ideas, and ideas must be tested. So let's hope that people, those people who are questioning the GOP right now, those people who are checking to make sure that we're not going to sit back and, uh, and just take it, that these people will see the better light and bring back a conservative party that is worth having a discussion with. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet 
with her progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. 